I have long shunned the most popular music of the day. What can I say? I'm a fan of the underdog. Pop sensation Olivia Rodrigo just released her sophomore album. I've been seeing a lot of people talking about her song, Vampire. It's catchy. I mean, I get why people like it. Alas, it's not for me, but it is that time of year. Halloween is coming and I'm in the mood for songs about vampires. So in today's video, I am scouring my collection for five songs about vampires, not by Olivia Rodrigo's. I'm playing very loosely with the term about. As always, I'm pulling items straight from my collection. That means there are some notable gaps. I'm looking at you, Bauhaus. So drop your favorites in the comments, especially if they are not on this list. And a second little caveat, there might actually be six items, not five. I'm gonna start with that sixth item that is not really about vampires, but it opens with the most classic vampire line. I, of course, am talking about Bullet with Butterfly Wings by the Smashing Pumpkins. And the line is this. The world is a vampire set to dre yang Frontman Billy Corgan is not singing about vampires here, but instead about the angst and alienation at the world around us. So very Billy Corgan. Released in 1995, I remember binge listening to this for years. That angst in Corgan's vocals, the strength in those power chords when it jumps into that chorus and he screams, despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. And who can forget that guitar solo? It just adds in more and more and more. And it's just such a great song. This song is so distinctly different from a lot of what you get on Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness as well. You got the melodic Tonight Tonight or the kind of wandering porcelain of the vast oceans. I mean, there's so much dynamic range between songs on Melancholy. It just really sets it apart from everything that the Smashing Pumpkins had done prior to it and have done since. I remember this entire album entrancing me, much like A Vampire's Gaze. And much like A Vampire's Gaze, I was powerless to get away. This right here is my unofficial 2022 pressing on three red marble discs. It's quite well done for being unofficial. And I love how the red looks. If you'd like to see what that looks like, uh, check out my video down in the description where I unbox this guy. For about the same price as the 3LP unofficial pressing, you can pick up a 2022 reissue box set for less than a hundred bucks. I'll have a link in the description if you want to check that one out on, uh, on Amazon. What can I say? It's where I've actually found the best price for it. That is, if you're in the States. Next up, let's take a trip back to 1974. In this classic Neil Young track off his 1974 album, On the Beach, Neil Young sings, I'm a vampire babe sucking blood from the earth. Kind of like the Smashing Pumpkins, this one is not necessarily about vampires. So it's less about vampires and more about, I guess, consumerism? Sucking blood from the earth makes me think of drilling oil. And it's true dig into the history of the song and, well, Young himself, and you'll find that it is indeed about an oil magnet ruining the environment. So much for being a, a true list of vampire-themed songs, right? Vampire blues is, well, bluesy. I love the cool swagger. I love the meandering guitar, the occasionally blown out bass, uh, which almost seems to overpower and is overemphasized at times. The percussion too, it all works really well. The song doesn't go out with a bang, but it fades away. Overall, not much hunting about it, but still a solid one to stick on your Halloween playlist, nonetheless. This here is my original year pressing, 1974, uh, stereo pressing on Reprise. It was Young's fifth studio album and it celebrates a whopping 50 years next year. That's just mind boggling. Next up is a, another familiar track, and you'll see what I mean right now. Drawing from Neil Young's classic is the neo-psychedelic and stoner rock band 
wooden ships off of their 2010 album volume two in fact it's called vampire blues and there's a good reason for that it's a cover of neil young's classic track that we just talked about as you get with that there are hints of blues still here but you get wooden ships signature noisy fuzzed out and reverbed out sound it's missing some of those echoing guitar solos you'd find in the band's later and more recent work, but it's still pretty damn decent. Rather than the wandering blues riffs, we get some equally psychedelic keyboards. If you're a fan of psychedelic rock and want to explore something quite a bit heavier with a solid spacey drone, check this one out. I love this band and feel their quite underrated. While the band was on my radar prior to being featured in season two of The Walking Dead, hearing the song Lazy Bones off of their album West highlighted in the show really made me a big fan and I've thoroughly enjoyed pretty much everything of theirs since. Continuing the theme of albums with skulls on the front is this band. And speaking of stoner rock, it's Uncle Acid and the Deadbeats. And they slide comfortably into a few parallel subgenres like wooden ships do. Doom metal, psychedelic rock, stoner rock, all that kind of stuff. Uncle Acid's music definitely leans into the occult, and the band is perfect for heavier Halloween themed playlists. From their 2010 debut album, Volume 1, also sounds a little familiar, right? comes the song Vampire Circus, and it is signature to the sound they've been creating now for, well, a lucky 13 years. This album is fascinating. The original release was entirely self-funded, and that's something you tend to see when it's both self-recorded and self-released. But get this, that release was just limited to 30 unmastered CDRs. Remember those? Well, the band has come a long way from those early days, building upon the cult, the occult, and the macabre, the truly terrifying, both in the sounds that they create and in the thematic elements within their music. You've got the song Vampire Circus, which I just mentioned, and it's actually one of two songs on this list that is actually about vampires, aside from a lyrical reference to the creature. Or is it three songs? You be the judge when we get to that last one. Uncle Acid released their sixth studio album, Slaughter on First Avenue. See, it still has that murderous theme. This year, and this is something I discovered as I was putting together this video and compiling this list, so I'm kind of excited to give that a listen. I have the band's other five albums, and I have to say, they are really, really good. Okay, now for the one that you've pretty much been waiting for, I'm sure. Though the album cover may not necessarily look familiar. You cannot compile a list of songs about vampires without including the classic Rocky Erickson track, Night of the Vampire. Rocky Erickson rose to fame with his band, The 13th Floor Elevators. After they disbanded in 1969 due to some interesting circumstances. Erickson spent some time in a mental institution after pleading insanity on response to drug charges. Many consider that the treatments he received over the course of his three and a half year confinement contributed to the mental troubles that plagued him the rest of his life. In the solo career that followed, Night of the Vampire is among probably some of his more well-known tracks, and it's one of my favorites. Here he leans less into the full-on, full-out psychedelic genre he helped cultivate in its entirety in the earliest forms of the genre, and more into kind of this garage-ridden, hard, bluesy rock that he seemed to favor a bit throughout his sporadic solo career. Night of the Vampire is truly great, and it's definitely a favorite of mine when it comes to Rocky Erickson. And that brings me to my last one. Wrapping up this list is none other than Dave Berman and his group Silver Jews with the song Transylvania Blues off the 2001 album Bright Flights. Remember earlier when I said there was a possible third track that was 
actually about vampires on this list and not just alluding to the terrifying immortal creature of the night? Well, the possibility is due to one simple thing. The song's instrumental. What you get is a cool swagger in the bass, a dreamy, wandering guitar, consistently driving percussion, and like so many others on this list, a hint of blues. What is it with blues and vampires? Why do they go together so well? I don't know. It's a bit different from a lot of what you get from Silver Jews, and there's not much horror to it, like vampire blues. But it's a solid conclusion to the list nonetheless, and it warrants a mention for the Transylvania call-out. Songs about vampires have been covered a bit here or there, and I hope my list has introduced you to a few that don't often make those cuts. Check them out down in the description. I'll have a link off to my blog where you can hear each of these tracks. Ghosts, Beasts, Monsters, which one should I cover next? Let me know down in the comments. Until then, if you're in the mood for Halloween, maybe check out these videos right here. I put them together last year covering a few Halloween-worthy songs that are great all year round. These ones are a little bit more in the mood of Halloween. I'm Andy, this is the Fence Post Final Channel, and I'll see you next time.